Welcome to another episode of Black and Blue. This episode we have titled Barney. Barney! I used to love him as a kid. Oh, I love you. You, you love, love me. me. We're, we're a happy, happy family. family. Uh, yeah, we're not talking about the purple dinosaur. Nope. That apparently Deaconess loved something I just learned right now. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I don't think she's ever uh -huh. said those words before. Uh-huh. Anywho, uh, yeah, we're not talking about Barney the purple dinosaur. Nope. We're talking about Barnabas. Mm-hmm. Barnabas. Woo! The apostle. Yes. Yeah. Uh, his, uh, you know, name pops up over 40 times in the, in the New Testament. Mm -hmm. So he's not really mm -hmm. that minor of a character, but... Not many of us know uh, much about Barnabas. We don't really mm -hmm. talk much about Barnabas. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. uh, we thought, you know, we should talk about Barnabas because actually June 11th was uh, the festival of St. Barnabas. Mm -hmm. Plus, yeah. I like what his name means. She loves what his name means. Mm -hmm. Son of... Encouragement. Encouragement. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Son of encouragement. Yeah. Uh, what a son of encouragement. Uh, we first hear about Barnabas mm -hmm. in Acts chapter 4, and what is Barnabas doing, deaconess? Um, he is selling his property on Remax. Has it all listed, all of that? I thought it was Century 21. <laughs> Remax, oh, maybe really? Maybe it was, maybe it yeah. was. He's selling his property, his chunk of, of land, because uh, he wants to take the money mm -hmm. from the sale of that property to the Jerusalem church. Mm -hmm. They need help financially. Yep. Yeah, because a lot of the Jews, a lot of the Jewish Christians had yeah. lost their jobs yeah. by becoming Christians. And so, you know, they were starving, hungry. And so Barnabas wanted to care for them because he was seeing that um, a problem in one congregation is a problem for just that congregation, Pastor? Every congregation. Every congregation. Yeah, Barnabas did not put walls <laughs> up between congregations. Uh, I believe that uh, we have something to learn there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think every denomination does. Yeah. Um, anywho, Barnabas, what a son of encouragement, going yep. to Jerusalem with all that money from the sale of his property mm -hmm. to help put food in his brothers and sisters Tum tums. Mm -hmm. you know. But it didn't stop there. No, you know, he, yeah. he didn't hunker down in Jerusalem. No. Nope. Right? He didn't stay there. Nope. There came a big, important report that he heard. Yeah. What was that about? The whole church in Jerusalem heard mm -hmm. from Antioch. And mm -hmm. what was the report? Um, the pagans are becoming Christians. In Antioch. In Antioch. Yeah. What is this? And that was a surprise to the Christians in the Jerusalem church because the Jewish Christians in Antioch were not sharing the gospel with the pagans. Mm -hmm. They were sharing the gospel with only Jews. Mm -hmm. Jews only. Yeah. 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 So then Barnabas gets sent by the Jerusalem church to the Antioch church to basically find out what's going on. Yeah. Is this the work of the Holy Spirit? Mm -hmm. And he found out. It was. It was. He was so tickled. <laughs> Yeah. He rooted and cheered them on mm -hmm. by staying, actually, in Antioch, yeah. letting the gospel fly. Mm -hmm. The 200-proof, gospelly good news, Jesus crucified for you. Uh, yeah, he let that fly. Mm -hmm. And the church grew by leaps and bounds. Mm -hmm. And Barnabas soon became overworked and overwhelmed. Yep. yep. <laughs> and so... Uh, he needed who, help. Yeah. And who is he going to call Better Call Saul. Better Call Saul. Not the show on TV, of course. Uh, we're talking about a different Saul, a way better Saul. Mm -hmm. uh, a Saul who, on the road to Damascus, became a Christian. Mm -hmm. Yeah, blinded yeah. by the light. <laughs> right? Yes. Saul, Indeed. who hated the church, now loved the church. He mm -hmm. was now a disciple of Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. And so Barnabas goes to Tarsus, right, mm -hmm. as a living letter of recommendation, mm -hmm. which was a huge encouragement for Saul because, well, there were many Christians who were skeptical. Mm -hmm. They well, remembered they, him being the persecutor of the yeah, church, yeah. the one who was throwing them in jail. Yeah, so yeah. They, they were kind of skeptical of the guy, keeping mm -hmm. their distance because maybe he's faking it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Barnabas did not treat Saul like the plague. No, he went he to not. Saul and he said, hey, buddy, you are needed by the Lord. There's mm -hmm. work for us to do in the church in Antioch. Mm -hmm. And off they went. Off yep, they they went. spent a whole year there preaching the gospel in Antioch. Mm -hmm. Encouraging the church. Encouraging the church big time, yeah. After a year, uh, the Holy Spirit uh, told the church and, and told 
Barnabas and uh, mm-hmm. and uh, Saul that it was time for them to go on a missionary journey. Mm-hmm. Yeah, to set sail. Mm-hmm. And the church in Antioch blessed them, and they set sail. Yeah, bringing the gospel to many nations around the Mediterranean. Mm-hmm. Uh, but after the first missionary journey, mm-hmm. they're back in Antioch, and what mm-hmm. happens? Peter pays them a visit. He does, yeah. and uh, we find out what goes down in 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 uh, Galatians chapter two that Peter was eating, uh, he was joining everyone at the Lord's Supper, pagans, Gentiles, and and uh, Jewish Christians. But then uh, outside of the Lord's Supper, you know, at his own dinner table, it was only Jewish Christians yeah. only, no yeah. one else. Yeah. And uh, we find out from Galatians chapter 2 that not only was Peter doing that, but Barnabas joined him. And how discouraging that must have been for the, the Gentiles. Gentiles. Yeah. yeah. The non-Jews. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. I mean, here, here, Peter, yeah, eating and drinking with uh, Jew, Gentile, mm-hmm. uh, men, women, rich, mm-hmm. poor, young, mm-hmm. old, and uh, really making it clear, yeah, Jesus is for everyone. But then mm-hmm. outside of the divine service mm-hmm. at his own dindin table, mm-hmm. he's only eating and drinking with Jews mm-hmm. and telling the Gentiles, eh, yeah, I'm not going to eat with Mm-hmm. Yeah, no. You're not important. Yeah, I mean, mm-hmm. it sent the message that Jesus really isn't for everyone. So he was putting the gospel in jeopardy. Yeah, He wasn't living uh, consistent with the gospel. Mm-hmm. His life wasn't actually conveying that Jesus really is for everyone. Mm-hmm. Yep, yeah. yep. And same thing for Barnabas. Right. And this really upset Paul because Paul and Barnabas were uh, co-workers. Mm-hmm. They, were, uh, they were on the same ministry team. Yes. So it really bummed him out. You can read about it in Galatians chapter 2. Mm -hmm. Um, so, uh, so, so the point being is Barnabas, what a son of encouragement, but he is flawed. He is broken. He Uh is sinful. Like every one of us, he is not the perfect son of encouragement. Mm -hmm. Okay. He did not always live up to his name. Mm -hmm. There's only one perfect Barnabas Mm -hmm. and, uh, his name begins with a J and ends with an Jesus, Jesus, Mm -hmm. right? He is the ultimate perfect Barnabas. Mm -hmm. He is the perfect ultimate son of encouragement who comes to encourage not just some folks, but all folks, everyone, (laughs) absolutely everyone. And really his whole goal and really the church's mission Mm -hmm. isn't just to get people to the font, Mm -hmm. but to get them uh, to belly up at the Lord's table, Mm -hmm. to wine and dine there, to eat and drink the body and blood of Jesus. And that is a table that really is meant for everyone, everyone. So whereas, you know, Peter and Barnabas, they were uh, putting up a fence around the Dindin table. Mm -hmm. Um, Our Lord doesn't do that. He wants to get people uh, washed into his family with three splashes of promise Mm -hmm. uh, and catechized, confirmed and brought to the Lord's table. That Mm -hmm. is his mission. That's the church's mission. And our Lord doesn't slam the door in anyone's face. No, he doesn't. Yeah, he yeah. wants everyone there because really there's a chair at his table mm-hmm. with everyone's name on it. Yep, exactly. Your name, my name, pastor's name. Yeah. Yeah. And at that table, I mean, what does he serve up but uh, heaping portions of his love and forgiveness? And there's not a, a side dish or anything on the, um, any extra dishes that are Here's a portion of shame. Yeah. Here's some shame. He's not in the business of humiliating. Yeah. Uh, shaming people. Mm-hmm. He's in the business of honoring. Mm-hmm. And he scoops out heaping portions of honor. And that's because mm-hmm. this is the God who wore and bore our shame on the cross. Mm-hmm. He dies naked. He dies naked. He, he you know, naked with our sin and our mm-hmm. death and our damnation and our hell. Naked with all the ways that we segregate and separate. Mm -hmm. Naked with all the ways that we, uh, you know, uh, put distance and fail Mm -hmm. to offer assistance. Uh, Naked with with all the ways that we discourage Mm -hmm. where we could have encouraged. And we know that we have fallen short. We know that we have not been perfect sons and daughters of encouragement. Mm -hmm. And we know that we have, uh, you know, failed at, at times to live... Uh, consistent with the gospel message that yeah. Jesus is for everyone. I mean, think about the things we have posted on social media. 
you know, yeah. uh, the arguments that we have been in for getting this person mm -hmm. is a, 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 you know, someone that Jesus loves so much that he died for this mm -hmm. person. Um, the words that we have spoken, uh, really dehumanizing mm -hmm. uh, one another. Yeah. Um, you know, so, so we know we have all failed to live as those perfect sons and daughters of encouragement. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But thanks be to God. We are baptized into the perfect Barnabas, mm -hmm. the one who out Barnabas is Barnabas, Jesus the Christ. Yes. Right? Isn't that encouraging? Mm -hmm. And yeah. not, only, not only are we baptized into this perfect Barnabas, but then he says, come, everything is ready. Yes. Welcome to the feast. And he gives mm -hmm. us a seat, not at the lowest spot. Where, mm -hmm. where does he seat us, Deacon um, Micah? Right up at the table. Place where? Of honor. Where? The place of honor. Yep. At his right hand. Yes. Isn't that amazing? And that... And that spot is big enough for every single human being. How is this possible? <laughs> it's a really big chair. <laughs> yeah, oh. amazing. Yes. What encouragement. And so yeah. we being encouraged, mm -hmm. now encourage. Yep. And yeah. uh, in, in the collect uh, for the festival of St. Barnabas, we hear these words that, uh, that he gave his life. Uh, uh, his life was given mm -hmm. uh, to charity and the proclamation of the gospel. Mm -hmm. And likewise, we who are baptized into the greater Barnabas Jesus, yeah. we now can honor everyone. Yes. In lives given to charity and the proclamation mm -hmm. of the gospel. Mm -hmm. All of our shame covered mm -hmm. by this beautiful robe of Christ's righteousness. Now we can go in confidence uh, and be Barnabases. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, what a beautiful sons and daughters of encouragement you are right mm -hmm. all for jesus sake yeah what a gift what a gift you and i the pastor yeah. have for the world it's a gift from our lord jesus yeah so really every day is the festival of saint barnabas uh-huh not just june 11th yeah <laughs> so let the encouragement fly i'm so i'm so <laughs> glad that we weren't talking about some purple dinosaur uh-huh yeah <laughs> me too That's not he, as he's not as encouraging not as encouraging <laughs> yeah so happy being barnabases mm -hmm. not just you know during the festival of saint barnabas june 11th mm -hmm. you know one day out of the year but every single day mm -hmm. of the year Woohoo! Woohoo! yep by his stripes, his wounds, we are healed. Yep, until next time. Toodles. Toodles, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.